So you're you're taking chess to the library. That's right. Every uh, Tuesday in October, 4.30 to 5.30, you're gonna be teaching kids how to play chess. I'm really excited for it. Well, it looks like you have my back against the wall, but you forgot about my Ron Weasley, and he's gonna go right there for checkmate. I hate to tell you this, that's not how a knight moves. Hmm. What other games you got? Let's go look. So as we're playing photosynthesis, I want to make sure we talk about events that you have coming up. Yeah. Tell us what's going on in October as uh, they try to figure out where their tree should really go. So I'm actually pretty excited. We're going to be doing our first uh, family movie night here at the store. Yeah. I'm going to be putting a projector in the back uh, and we're going to get rid of the tables. We're just going to have chairs set up. We're going to have popcorn. We're going to invite people out to see Halloween Town. Thought it was really, really appropriate for October, and if it's successful, we'd love to do more. Now, uh, you talked about Halloween Town. Uh, we're celebrating that orange trees are really winning right now, which <laughs> makes me think of Halloween and horror. You have any cool horror games? Uh, we do. We actually have a plethora of them coming in just in time for the uh, Halloween season. We're going to have Betrayal at the House on the Hills, which is, you know, the classic horror game. You all go into a haunted house, the door shuts behind you, and now you have to find a way to escape. You literally build the board as you go, and eventually one of you falls victim to the horrors of the house, and now it's one versus everyone else. It's a game that we call an asymmetrical game. It's awesome. Uh, we're going to be getting in more copies of Boop, which you saw earlier, yes. the tic-tac-toe cat game. But it's the that special edition has the special ghost cats inside that scare cats off the board. Uh -huh. Yeah, a little tricky there. We'll be getting in a bunch of the Steve Rhodes games. He's an artist who does uh, like retro art, but it's always a little off-putting. Uh, we'll also be getting uh, copies of Dread in, which is probably one of my favorite role-playing games. It's uh, You play with a Jenga tower and it, you know, everyone gets to have their final girl moments. You need to come down to the game store. You need to check out if you have a, excuse, excuse, God, God. if you have an inkling to try a new game, this is the place to come. Children, children, you get, you get your horror game soon. Yep. You know, come to the horror event. Go check out chess at the library.